Okay, so I drove about 20 kilometers out of town and then hiked up this trail about a kilometer or two and ended up in the middle of the woods. Behind me is a nice bush that's full of rabbit tracks and rabbit poop. Right over there. My rabbit shows up, then I get to catch some dinner. So while we're waiting, I'm going to make a fire. I've been gathering some firewood. I got a pile going here. There's some kindling. There's not a friggin' birch tree in the entire place. So that's usually my go-to on starting a fire. Without it, I'm gonna have to improvise. It's important to note that we're surrounded by black spruce and some of them are dead and some of them are not. And there are uh, larch or tamarack, depending on what you call it from where you're from, that look dead, but they're not. You only want to burn the dead stuff that's standing because it's dry and it burns better and you're not killing a live tree. So you got to pay attention to that. I don't know what kind these are. They sure look dead. But they're not. They got, I guess they're some kind of larch or tamarack or something. I don't know. Anyway, we'll uh, come back when I got some more wood. So, uh, there's my wood pile I gathered. And I got this for Christmas. This is one of those uh, flint magnesium scraper, sparker, fire starter dealies. It's going to be really hard to start one with this, but uh, I'm not going to die. So I'll try it. And uh, if it doesn't work, I've got a lighter and matches. I don't have any paper. And I couldn't find any birch bark. Uh... I've heard that this stuff, which is called like old man's beard moss or something, that grows on all the black spruce trees here, uh, I've heard that that's good fire starter, but in my experience when I touch the stuff, uh, it feels very damp and humid, so I don't know, but uh, we'll experiment. This is my kindling pile, it's pretty big. Uh, once that gets going, I plunk it right into the middle of my wood pile here. And I got a whole bunch more to stack on top. And then everything else on top too. I don't have very much firewood here in terms of staying warm. But I just want to cook a couple hot dogs. I'm not even making tea. So it's really, I don't even, I could eat them raw. In fact, I may do that anyway. But, uh, so that's what's going on here. Um, so my first priority is going to be to produce, uh, I don't know, I'll get some kind of a, uh, something, some flat surface, uh, that I can make a bunch of scrapings from this thing into, um, to, to build them up before I like the big spark into them and hopefully they'll get to the other wood going. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay. Uh, so actually as a last minute forethought. I took my knife and scraped some shavings off of a, a larger stick. Maybe they'll help start it, I don't know. I just scraped a whole bunch of scrapings from my... Well, uh, maybe not a whole bunch, but a small amount from this guy. And piled them up right on top of those wood shavings in the middle of my kindling pile. My kindling bundle. So, let's see what happens. I'm going to try and spark it. And uh, maybe some good camera work. Maybe it'll go right away. Maybe not. Probably not. Ah. Well, <laughs> the sparks went. I don't think the... So let's scrape some more and we'll try again. So I've given up on the uh, sparker, that flint striker or whatever. I'm going to try using matches. Uh, no name. Still no paper. And if that doesn't work, I've got a butane lighter that might or might not work. It's about negative 10 out today. So we'll see. I'm going 
to take three matches and strike them all at the same time to have a larger flare-up. It might or might not work. And then, I guess ideally, what do I want to do? Light it from the top and then turn it upside down. Light it from the bottom, turn it right side up. I guess I'll start on the top and roll it to the side. Okay. I tried to blow on it like Les Stroud and I blew it out. But uh, what we learned from that experiment is that it looks like these things burned really well. Uh, these little shavings that I made from the piece of wood. So we're going to make some more of those and then try again. This time it should work. This time I have many shavings all, and I've split my my uh, kindling bundle in two, I laid out half on the bottom, put my shavings in the middle, and I put it back on top, the second half. So what I'm gonna do is light three matches into the middle, right here, into my shavings, and then gently put my kindling bundle back on top, and hopefully get a ball of fire going. Then I grab this other small stuff and stick that on top, then this gradually bigger stuff and stick it on top, and then I'm gonna pile everything on top and hopefully it all just engulfs into one big uh, fireball. Let's try. And this has to work soon because I'm getting real hungry. Oh shit. Okay, my shavings are going. Kindling bundle. A slight breeze just started right now. Oh, this is perfect. And some extra kindling on top. Oh, no, there's wind coming up suddenly. Why is there wind? Oh, no. Okay. All right, I gotta put the phone away. Looks like it was a success. Time for hot dogs. Okay, I just literally threw all the wood on top as soon as I got it started. <laughs> and it made this giant inferno. And uh, it's almost burned out and I'm almost out of wood. I haven't even started cooking. But boy, is that warm. Oh, so this is how forest fires start. It takes one spark in the summertime or one little flame, a little bit of wind. Next thing you know, the forest burned down. It's literally been three minutes. It hasn't even been five minutes yet since I started this thing and all the wood I stacked on top is almost gone and I don't even have a wiener stick so I guess I better get going on that too okay